a medical power of attorney is a person who are you, who you are giving the ability to make medical decisions for different than a financial power of attorney different than a durable power of attorney so medical power of attorney makes your medical decisions for you when you cannot a power of attorney can only override your advanced directive if that power of attorney is a medical power of attorney and you are incompetent you're deemed incompetent to make that decision and then a medical power of attorney can make a decision for you and yes they can override it so most of us think that the power of attorney should be the spouse and by default it usually is but we've had some families that have had issues with writing it down and that power of attorney is very emotionally involved and goes against that decision and so sometimes choosing a power of attorney that is not a family member might be a better option for you if you don't want the emotions of your family involved. So taking that into consideration as well. But when you're in a respiratory distress situation, you can't verbalize what you want. Even if you verbalized it to me, your mom, your spouse, if it's written down, it's very clear to a doctor whoever's taking care of you because they may not be able to ask you that question at the time. So writing it down is huge. You have to have those papers in order. And like I said, they can always be changed. They can be changed as many times as you want, but writing them down is necessary. And then letting your power of attorney know what you have written down, what it says, so they can follow through with what you've actually written down and what you want.